Hello everybody, this is Alberto Kennedy. Um, I just wanted to share with you some techniques to, uh, in regards to magical and psychic defense. There's a lot out there on how to do it, but sometimes it can be a bit convoluted, a bit complicated, and they're telling you that you need certain items. Um, so this is something that you could do on the spot and that it works. Um, I'm all for teaching people how to defend themselves and not making it complicated in terms of how you defend yourself against psychic energy, against magical energy. You need to know a lot of people who are beset with problems in the paranormal world, they go, well, I don't know how to fight what I can't touch or what I can't see. I'm going to show you how right now. All right. Um, the first thing, psychic defense. Whenever you need psychic protection or you need to defend yourself because you feel that you are in fact under psychic attack, the best thing you can do is use your mind. Your mind is a weapon and your mind is a shield. What you do is you close your eyes and you visualize a mirror, a mirror. And when you visualize this mirror, Make sure that you visualize it, that you can see it in detail and make it as real in your mind as possible, where you can see your reflection and everything. Once you do this on the psychic plane, anybody that's trying to infiltrate, anybody that's trying to send psychic energy or negative psychic energy, negative mental energy, even on the spiritual or other level, this mirror will reflect that back to the person sending that energy. Um, and it, it does work. I've used, I use it all the time with magnificent results for me. Um, so remember that. A, envision a mirror in your mind. As real as possible in your mind. So whenever you are under psychic attack or that you feel that you're under psychic attack, anybody that's trying to attack you, We'll, we'll, you'll be reversing it. You'll be sending it back upon them. So in essence, they'll be, they'll be attacking themselves. They'll be harming themselves. The mirror works on all levels. A second thing that I employ whenever I feel that I'm under attack or whatnot, um, I invoke, I work with the angelic presence as I mentioned before in one of my videos, uh, two, an two angelic presences that uh, I respond well to and that really work for me and hopefully they'll work for you is there is one angel by the name of Malahel. Malahel. His title is Turner Away of Evil. Very powerful and again it's that turning energy. It's kind of like Tai Chi where somebody's aggressively trying to attra attack you. You send it back to them and so you're not harming them. They're harming themselves because they're, they're the ones that initiated that negative energy to you. You're just returning, returning it back to its source. So it's karmic, it's karmically free in the sense that there's no karmic um, a repercussion to turning somebody's energy against themselves because you're not doing anything wrong. You're just returning what is not yours. Um, Malahel does that. Uh, his presence does that. And invoking can be as simple as just praying and you pray to God first, uh, whoever you consider God or whatever tra whatever path or tradition or religion you come from or you hail, you can you can do that. But invoke Malahel, who is an angel. It's a benign energy. There's no negativity and no connotations with evil or whatnot. It's pure um, and of God. Um, you can invoke him and that energy will protect you and turn um, evil back upon itself. Another, another angel that I work with who is an archangel, his name is Cassiel Shabbatai. Cassiel spelled K-A-S-S-I-E-L. Uh, Cassiel is an archangel. His title is, turn, uh, sorry, Great One of the Night of Time. That is his title. Now let's think about that, time. That's one of the universal element, elements, right? Time, space, distance, matter, um, sound, gravity, light, dark, death, life. Well, guess what? He governs all of that. That is his realm. That is, is what he does. And because of that, he is an ender. Shabbatai uh, is Hebrew for Saturn, the planet Saturn. Uh, 
Saturn has close associations or attributes with uh, the Titan Kronos. Kronos in Greek mythology was the Titan of time. Um, and the harvest, when it's time to harvest, this, that's why he had the sickle and everything. So, um, which also has kind of, uh, close associations with death in terms of the scythe and whatnot. See how it all blends in? It's all connected. Well, um, Cassiel Shabbatai, Cassiel, the great one of the night of time, is a severe and powerful influence, also benign, just not to be toyed with, not to be um, played with. So if you are in a serious bind, and this power, mind you, is so powerful and so severe that it can protect you from demonic influence. Cassiel does not play that. And he is an ender. He ends problems. He ends things. He is an ender. And that power connected with your faith and yourself, connection to the light, uh, connection to beneficial energies, helpful energies, healing energies, um, love, light, caring, compassion, forgiveness. If you have that in your heart, then you're pure. You know, you, you, you can respond to the light. You can feel the light. Uh, and if you can, Either way, darkness shouldn't even be around you. Demonic influence shouldn't be around you. And you shouldn't even have to deal with um, psychic attacks or magical attacks or whatnot. But as we all know, darkness, evil, um, evil people, evil entities, and all that, they don't play by the rules. So if they don't play by the rules and if they're affecting you and if you are beset by any one of these atrocious energies that, that, that are toxic, these are the ways how to deal with it. Um, the, the psychic mirror, the mirror in your mind, uh, the invocation of Malahel, calling upon Malahel, uh, calling upon uh, Cassiel, Cassiel Shabbatai. Um, and these powers and these things really do work. Research it, Google it, you know, don't take my word for it. Get this information for yourself. I'm pointing you in the right direction because as I promised, and I'm keeping faith with my promise in the sense that I'm bringing light to dark places. And a lot of people keep saying, well, I don't know how to defend myself. Now you do. So go ahead and do. I wanted to share that with you. Thank you.